You can use the count if function to count things in Excel. And previously we've seen that you can use count if to look at a range like A1 to A10 and find and count something specific like the word pen. This time we're going to use count if to compare items to a specific number. So we have student grades and the passing grade is 50. So we'd like to know how many students failed. They got a score below 50. And then we'll see how many passed by comparing their score to the passing grade. To count the number that failed, we'll click in this cell and type equal count if and an open bracket. And first we're going to put in the range. So where are the numbers we want to count? And we'll select B2 to B11. That's where the scores, the grades are. Then a comma to end that argument. And the next argument is criteria. So what do we want to use as the basis for counting these numbers? We want to see how many are below 50. So within quotes, I'm going to type a double quote here, and then the less than sign. So less than, and I'm just going to type a 50 here. Then double quotes and a closing bracket. So in this range of numbers, how many are less than 50? And when I press enter, it shows that three students have failed. So I can see one, two, three scores in the 40s there. And everything else is 50 or above. So in the next cell down, we're going to calculate how many students passed. So again, we'll use our equal count if and an open bracket the same range of numbers and a comma to end that argument. And this time we want to see how many are 50 or above. So we'll use a double quote. And this time it's greater than and an equal to. So greater than or equal to. And I'm going to end that with a double quote. And now it's, instead of typing 50 like I did last time, I'm going to type an ampersand, which is shift seven on my computer. And I'm going to click on the cell where the passing score is. So I'll click here. So now our formula is greater than or equal to, and I'm referring to this cell that has 50. And a closing bracket. And when I press enter, it shows seven have passed. Now, the advantage of using this reference to the cell is that if that passing score changes, maybe we've upped our ante a little bit and we're going to make the passing score a 70. We want to make it very tough for people to get in. So now, automatically, this changes because it's referring to this cell. The number that failed didn't change though because I've typed that 50 in there. So I can change that. I can delete that and do the same thing to this formula with an ampersand and a reference to that cell. So if we change the passing score to 70, six failed, four passed. If I change this back to 50, we get our three and seven.